Lymphocyte migration, activation, and effector function depend on cell-to-cell -cell interactions mediated by cell adhesion molecules. The migration of naive T cells through the lymph nodes and their initial interactions with antigen-presenting cells depend on cells binding to each other through interactions that are not antigen-specific. Similar interactions eventually guide the effector T cells into the peripheral tissues and play an important role in their interaction with target cells. Binding of T cells to other cells is controlled by an array of adhesion molecules on the surface of the T lymphocyte that recognize a complementary array of adhesion molecules on the surface of the interacting cell. The main classes of adhesion molecule involved in lymphocyte interactions are the selectins, the integrins, members of the immunoglobulin superfamily, and some mucin-like molecules. We have already encountered members of the first three classes in the recruitment of neutrophils and monocytes to sites of infection during an innate immune response. Most adhesion molecules play fairly broad roles in the generation of immune responses. Many that are involved in lymphocyte migration and the interactions of armed effector T cells with their targets are important in getting lymphocytes together in an adaptive immune response that involve T cell, B cell interactions. The selectins are particularly important for leukocyte homing to particular tissues and can be expressed either on leukocytes, L-selectin, CD62L, or on vascular endothelium, P-selectin, CD62P, and E-selectin, CD62E. L-selectin is expressed on naive T cells and guides their exit from the blood into peripheral lymphoid tissues. P-selectin and E-selectin are expressed on the vascular endothelium at sites of infection and serve to recruit effector cells into the tissues at these sites. The interaction between L-selectin and the vascular addressins is responsible for the specific homing of naive T cells to lymphoid organs, but does not, on its own, enable the cell to cross the endothelial barrier into the lymphoid tissue. For this, proteins from two other families, the integrins and the immunoglobulin superfamily, are required. These proteins also play a critical part in the subsequent interactions of lymphocytes with antigen-presenting cells and later with their target cells. And that's lymphocyte migration, activation, and effector function depend on cell-to-cell -cell interactions mediated by cell adhesion molecules. Have a great day.